What's up, people? So before I start on this episode of Pamela, uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to a couple of uh, YouTubers who are making, uh, who are also making videos on this game, and uh, they do come visit uh, a lot of my uh, videos uh, frequently to give advice, and I appreciate a lot of the advice that I receive from them. So I just wanted to give this shout out. Uh, one of them is a relatively uh, frequent uh, poster of Pamela videos, and his name is Dragonate. And so I'll leave a link to both uh, these YouTubers uh, in my description section of this episode. But I just wanted to um, provide again uh, for you viewers, if you are getting tired of watching my videos, then there are other people who make videos on this game. So yeah, Dragonade is a very uh, enjoyable um, YouTuber to watch. And so I would suggest and recommend that you actually uh, go to his channel. Uh, again, I'll leave a link to the most recent uh, episode of his um, Pamela videos. Uh, the other one is actually a much more uh, veteran player than I am. He is. I learned a lot from uh, this gentleman, and so I wanted to actually uh, shout out because he's a new YouTuber. He's only made one video, and that's the Pamela video. But that Pamela video is actually quite good because he's a lot more knowledge about this game than I am. So his name is Nick Ball. And again, I'll leave a link to his one video that he has so far, and I hope that he continues to make more videos because I got a feeling that, uh, yeah, I mean, I want to have this game more recognized, and I want, you know, viewers to at least have a chance to look at other uh, posters out there. Anyway, that's about it for this section, and uh, so let me start with the actual episode. So what's up people and welcome back to Pamela. Yeah. I guess I'm in the uh, Genesis station, the promenade. It's been a while since I played this game, so I have to kind of remember what I was doing. But today, uh, I know what... Oh. Hmm. Okay, we'll do this. Uh, I don't know if I... Yeah, it's uh, 1930 hours. Okay. Well, okay, I'll... I'll uh, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. Guess I need to clean the inventory as well. Okay, well, let me... Oh, let me uh, prepare myself for today's episode. I just kind of jumped in and I can't remember what all I was doing. So let me uh, get rid of some of this stuff. But in any case, I want to go to Nascent Robotics uh, for this episode. If you recall, a couple of episodes ago we went there, but we didn't have the key to go to the basement. And so I couldn't figure out... Uh... Okay, let me, uh, <laughs> let me do some preparations here. Uh, let's see. I want to open up the inventory a little bit more. I'm getting a ton of these um, Geist containers. I still need to get those um, defense modules so that I could upgrade the armor. I think. Anyway, uh, wow. It's getting to be close to uh, Dark Seeker time. So let me just. I don't want to deal with Dark Seekers right now. So let me just bypass their uh, spawning time okay yeah so uh, let me keep on talking I if you recall uh, I didn't have the key to go to the basement of nascent robotics but uh, recently I was able to get it and so I figured that uh, we could see what it's like down there Okay. 
don't need this fertilizer for the journey, so uh, let me get rid of it, or at least put it away. And take a little bit more stuff. There we go. Yeah, I got my uh, canteen of water, so I don't need as much drinks as I do need food. Whoa! Uh, okay. Okay. Maintenance time. Base maintenance time. Let me just... Uh, There we go. Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Let me just uh, restock this one with a fresh uh, ion cell. Whoa. Ion cell. There we go. Okay. Whoa. I didn't want to do that. I just want to turn you off. There you go. Okay, now we can go. Guess I don't have any space left in here. Maybe I should open uh, yet another container. I don't know. I guess I... Uh, <laughs> I may have bought too many of these. I don't know. Uh, it'll be okay. I'll deal with it later. Is In any case, you can never have enough of those uh, wall repair kits. Well, I guess you can if you've repaired all the walls, but that would be stupid if I continue uh, buying it at this time. Morning, Mr. Robot. Sorry, I'm blabbing on again, so uh, let me keep on going. Yeah, I want to find out if there's any changes in the basement of uh, <laughs> Nascent Robotics after the Geist update. Seems to be a busy morning for everyone. Hello. I am sure looking forward to the story update. I hope that comes soon. That will be... I hope that's amazing. Because the, you know, I don't know, I've, I've uh, said this too often, I guess, but this is a great uh, environment. We just need more content. Just charging up the outside, that's all. We'll get there. Okay, there's a few more uh, outlets, I guess, out here that I need to figure out where they are so that I can repair them. Don't see any broken wall outlets out here. Okay. 
Yeah, so in my last video, I said that I couldn't find any geist areas in Nirvana. I guess according to Nick Ball that there is... Uh... Hello. Don't need to follow me. Ah, good. Okay. At least she doesn't seem to be following me. Okay, well, let's go. Let's keep on going. Yeah, but according to Nick Ball, yeah, uh, supposedly there are geist areas in Nirvana. It's just so big, I guess I didn't uh, run into them. So, just a correction from my last video. And uh, thank you very much, Nick Ball, for that uh, correction. Oh, look at that. There we go. Yeah, this one is a little bit hard to figure out which weapon to use. What's this? Oh, is it a lens? I think it's a lens. Oh, there, is that it? Oh, well, anyway, I don't, I, I don't use lenses, so, oh, this is an easy one. Yeah, anyway, I'm hoping that there's something good here. Let me just open this up. Not talking about the box, but this area. Stamina drink. I may need it if I need to run away quickly. Whoa. Oh. Oh, this by itself was useful. Wow, that's great. Jacob tries to hide the information he is accessing on the increasing incidence of paralysis in the population. I tabulated this analysis. Yeah, I've heard that one before, so. Okay, so this is the basement. I don't know if there's any changes here. I don't see any changes here. I always think this is a really cool area that they can uh, sandwich. Yeah, they can uh, really develop into a scary area because the basement, this basement area is really dark. Get that? And since this is the uh, area where all the secrets are built. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean this dark kind of it's kind of very eerie down here. And I would think that this is a great place to be able to uh develop the game because again, this is the factory that builds seekers. Can you, I, it would be interesting if you were attacked by well, I don't know if some people will call it interesting. You were attacked by multiple dark seekers when you did something here, like uh, turn on the switch or open a box that looked like it had a good clue or something like that in here, you know. And then you have to fight the dark seekers before you can get reap the rewards of whatever is in that clue box. Okay. Sorry, with all these uh, dark, I mean seekers here, I'm, I'm I'm getting a little bit paranoid. So I'm gonna switch out to my arc welder. 
Because I don't want to be attacked by any Dark Seekers if this turns out to be the case. There we go. Or at least I want to be prepared if jumping into this room. Well, doesn't seem like there's any difference. Well, I kind of expected that as far as the uh, room is concerned. I was just wondering if there was a, any geist areas here, but I guess not. Oh, who's this dude? Just some random guy. I don't think you can open this. Can you open this? No, I don't. I don't think you can open this. Yeah, it's such a cool area, but it's completely empty and you don't have much to do here yet. I'm hoping that they develop this or else if they don't, it's kind of like a pointless area, you know. Okay, so no changes, no changes down here. I don't need any resources. Okay, so let's keep on going. Definitely a pretty area. I just hope they continue to develop this. There must be a reason they put this in here rather than just have it as some empty additional corridors for you to walk. Okay, let's get out of here. Well, it was worth it just to fix that wall outlet, at least for me. And at least, I uh, hope you know, you know, we found out together that there's really nothing here yet. Okay. Okay, well, so we saw almost everything in Nascent Robotics. Oh, that's strange. Please present credentials. Have you remembered to take your temperature? Oh, that's really strange. The flying robot is kind of uh, signaling an alarm on a seeker. What well, did it accidentally? Po Whoa. Maybe the. Uh, Seeker was fighting some zombies and accidentally pl punched a flying robot and it got really angry. I don't know. I don't know. The things you see in this game. Oh, where's the button? Where's the button? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that went a lot faster than I expected, so... Uh, Oh, I know. I think I know what I want to do next. Before we go back, I thought maybe we could go to that cathedral. There we go. Whoa. 
Oh, <laughs> sorry. Always good to get a solar charger, that's for sure. I'm lo I know I'm not lost. I'm just <laughs> can't remember where the entrance to the cathedral is. I guess I went the wrong way. Ah. Okay, so I don't expect anything to be different here. Yeah, and this place is still uh, cold locked, so I can't go in there. Hmm. Okay, well. <laughs> Almost got lost there for a minute. Okay, no changes in the cathedral. Post Geist update, so. Okay, so. Uh, one last thing I think I'll do. I recall the key card for that cathedral door is uh, in the oasis outside. So let me see if I can find that again. Whoa. Good. Live and let live. That's my statement. Unless you run out of food and drink and then just kill everything. That's definitely not the key card. Oh. I think it's, uh, 
upstairs. Okay, I should have realized it before searching all of the first floor. It's around here, I think. Ah, is that it? Yeah, I think I think that's it. Yeah. Oasis Cathedral data card. Good. Oh, here's more. <laughs> I am addicted to these things. I buy them all the time. Now, one thing that's actually uh let me just uh Oh. Oh, that's interesting. It won't let you get in there. Is that a bug? Anyway. Anyway, yeah, uh, one of the uh, actual useful information is this one. If you come to this area, you should read this one up. It's all about the nanites. It talks about what the nanites do uh, for uh, these eating clusters. And I guess the nanites are basically these utility things that float around in the air. They're always in the air in a very, uh, you know, uh, small concentration and uh, they run around and do micro maintenance to a lot of things in the uh, city and so long as it's in low concentration sorry I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here yeah so long as it's in low concentration I guess everything is okay but uh, once you go into high concentrations, you know, it's there's a lot of things that we've already seen, you know, the uh, quarantined area and now these geist beasts. So I'm hoping that when they have a story update, aside from, you know, let me go, let me go here. I, I want to drop off my solar, solar panel or solar charger. There we go. Yeah, this will be a nice base once I uh, really get this together. It'd be nice to be able to camp outside, you know. And so out of the way, I don't think any of the uh, zombies come after you. I don't know about Dark Seekers. They may. Please oh. present credentials. Wow, that uh, nasty dude seems like he's had too much to. Uh, He's been sniffing too much on that, uh, I forgot what that stuff is called. Temporal. Temporal. He's been taking too much of that Do stuff, it looks like. Whoa! Please refrain from physical violence. Oh, javelin. I haven't collected too many javelins, so maybe I'll keep that one. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, my, uh... Wow, that was interesting. My sleep darts are usually really effective against um, zombies, but didn't do anything there, that's for sure. Okay, let me go back. I think that's enough for today. No change in the uh, basement of the uh, nascent robotics. No change in the cathedral so far, anyway. Haven't looked in the back room. And the key card, at least we know where the key card is. Is that a... No, that's not a broken wall outlet. Okay, anyway, let me go back. Let me go back. What's the best way to go back? Ah, I might as well go through here. Okay. 
yeah anyway yeah i hope they do a update on the nanites as well as updates on jacob and enema as well as updates on the deep frame and of course an update on pamela a lot more stuff about pamela Yeah, if any of you viewers know any updates as to when they will be coming out with a story update, I would appreciate it. The Geist update was actually pretty good, but now... Wow, they're both... Oh, actually, that's a solar charger. I guess we need to wait a little while. Okay, well, let's let it keep on going. Yeah, I'm running out of uh, places to go. I, I mean, there are still places I haven't explored yet post the Geist update, like on the garrison. But I got a feeling that it's just going to be the same garrison with a few Geist beasts floating around. So, let me just put away the javelin. There we go. Okay, I think that's about it. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll continue on. Hopefully, the uh, story update will come uh, you know, will appear pretty soon. They'll release it pretty soon because, yeah, I mean, this game really has a decent foundation with the exception of the optimization. I hope they keep on working on that. But as far as the environment, it's all ready for a real content development. And so I hope the developers come out with that story update soon because, yeah, I would like to see that. Anyway, uh, that's about it. Thank you very much for... Uh, watching this video and I'll continue on with more Pamela in the future uh, maybe I will go to the garrison in the next episode haven't been there yet although I don't know if there's any changes there but uh, yeah if you have any comments please post it in the comment section below and we'll continue on with more Pamela in the future I hope you join us at that time and until then happy surviving happy exploring happy hunting and as always Jay and I stay everyone